What kind of bullshit are these f***ers promoting in the name of open source? Misleading people into making spam PRs in a main Express.js repo? If you guys like Go in this kind of content, make sure you click subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. A lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy. But let's get back to the video. As you can see, we're in Express.js Express, a very popular, you can see here, 62.9 thousand stars web framing for Node.js. And something came up. So you can see here, that it is about on the pull request for the express open source github repo there is a few you know closed prs not not a big deal but then you start to see some update readme starting from august 26 2023 update readme update readme okay and i'm on page six and uh if you can infer what happens next well update readme update readme update readme update readme update readme dot md update readme dot md update the readme dot md and look at this what does it change they are changing the readme and just adding their name above the installation instruction like the only thing all of these pull requests are doing are modifying a readme and adding their name oh this one had a reply uh hello kenshin uh we observed several you submitting similar pull requests recently to the project i'm curious to know if this is a recommended activity in a course or if there's a specific reason behind this trend your insights would be appreciated this is hilarious and this keeps going by the way like this one has a comment let's see okay he commented himself wait this person update readme.md file change they added a name randomly and then in the conversation they replied okay huh okay well how about this one i just i'm just learning to create pull requests thumbs down oh my goodness yeah this is the problem so please stop spamming the repository stop spamming the repo by opening these prs i'll close the pr please don't defame open source and don't spam sorry to hear that because of one youtuber shanda karpra holy crap i have never seen something like this you might be asking yourself Melky, where did all of these update pull requests come from? What is happening? How did Express.js get hundreds of pull requests? So you can see here, there is an example. And boom, caught red-handed. Apna College. Pavan3411. You left the trail, my friend. Apna College was evidence number one. And look at this. So they made a really good video summarizing all of these just insane pull requests. I mean, it goes on on a ton of these but look three pages straight of update readme pull requests the question now on everyone's mind is how did this happen and we find the culprit right here ishan sharma posted distributed pr spam on the use express js by idiots on apna college fb apna college x adding a five second disclaimer at the absolute last of a one hour 15 minute video can we bring light to malpractice let's go back here this video is incredibly sped up. But we're going to open it. This is a, a 57 second of a one hour and 15 second video. Here, I'm going to make a full screen. I'm going to cover her face. But look, you can see here, she's doing a course or some sort of video where she's basically talking of how to make PRs, okay? And this is clearly sped up. We'll go to the raw source in a second. So she is so showing that you can make a pull request and modify what file? Can you have guessed? The readme.md file doing the master branch comment you know exactly where she said in the video where all those 100 prs have made their modification so she's literally showing the entire steps of how to merge so she forked it right she had her own fork and then she's making a change on the readme.md file from her fork and making a pr onto the master branch of express js oh here we go wait 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 look at this but don't actually have to do do it because we have used very useless signs we have changed not added anything useful general pull requests inside the repo that's the way we do it when we do some useful change to other people's code and are doing it we had a mistake and hit it okay not not bueno not bueno this is not kosher this is what a sean sharma basically said adding a five second disclaimer at the absolute last one second of one hour and 50 minute video no this is not okay and let me explain why even though she the content creator didn't click the you know 
create pull request button she literally shows you every single step from new pull request to choosing the master branch to choosing everything that the express js framework wants you to do or a regular pr right and then she says but don't actually do this this is the entire video it's one hour and 15 seconds everything here she's going through the entire video it's complete git and get up tutorial for beginners now let me explain something real quick to to everyone and one of the consequences of being a tech content creator all right especially one of apna college's side and apna college has 4.84 million subscribers when you have a channel this big you have to be very aware of the content you post. It's way different than someone of Apna College's level and influence versus another person, let's say Shmelki Shmo, who has, let's say, just 484 subscribers making the same video, right? Is it ed educational? Yes, it's educational, 100% agreed. But the issue is there's consequences to the power you get. As you know, in Spider-Man, Uncle Ben, with great power comes great responsibility. This video has 1.3 million views and the thing is you could be arguing well how do you show someone to make a pull request don't do the repo that has almost 70,000 stars one of the most popular repos on github do it on a test bed environment right if you're making educational content why not create your own repo with a readme file that you make available for your audiences to make pull requests on that one why use the example of express.js the issue in this video the actual issue is she showed the entire step using Express.js, right? Like the base repository, the base is not something that she made. This is a public in production, one of the most used framework and she's showing you all the steps from basing it to choosing the right branch to making the comment to adding to validating and the other issue that i want to bring up here is i just saw this no don't create test prs or issues on official repositories or or project of project that is unprofessional try to test all the things in your own repo the issue with this uh app the college is that it was unprofessional to demonstrate this to an audience of millions of people literally it's this was unprofessional this video the thing that really sucks let me say something that i i truly can see from a different perspective i actually believe this video um is is a good video and this is the issue with with in tech influences 57 seconds to completely ruin a one hour and 15 long minute video what i would deem as a negligent i don't think she was malicious i don't think her intention was to go and ddos express no but it's the impact of her actions on her audience which caused this mistake you have to be very mindful of what audiences you have so we know the cause is this youtube video right um what should they ha what should have happened right if you know your video has caused this much problem i know what i would have done if i made a mistake and that mistake had severe consequences i would close the video right i'll demonetize it i'll take it down where is it it's still up right here complete one tutorial get in github five months ago 1.3 million views it's still up right they didn't take the video down and i do we think there's gonna be comments on here let's see there is no comment on uh oh here we go curse you guys because you guys real engineers are now looking like clowns and they're getting humiliated worldwide can you show a banner to not spam express yes yep yeah they you gotta take this down you have people like me and prime recovering it the video is five months old though why the spam now the spam has actually been going on for months if you look at the twitter where's the tweet there if you look at the post here look at the dates a week ago four days ago right the issue is that there was no spike it's been a constant wait three weeks ago three weeks ago two weeks ago december 14 right look look up november october it's not that there was a spike it's just that the longer this video exists the more likely there's it's going to continue all right bro you should choose especially as official repo for showing a tutorial like do you know how much trouble your audience is causing to repo maintainers yeah i mean they should do they should take it down my my opinion is you should take down the video i don't think express.js needs to do anything they did nothing wrong they shouldn't have to change a file name they shouldn't have to do anything this video needs to be taken down yes the damage has already been done but that doesn't mean future
future damage will not be like there's not gonna be more future damage that happens right so that's my take damage will keep coming if it stays up 100 percent you know i don't want people to say nasty things about apna college and what this is about i don't think their intention was malicious i just think they were not responsible and uh i think they kind of messed up to be honest you could uh redeem yourself that's how i see it let's say i made this video let's say apna college was milky and i had 4.84 million subscribers right and it was milky college and i made this exact same video you just completely swap her with me and i did the exact same thing the issue would still exist <laughs>